You have another um, very interesting, I guess, custom, or I don't know, maybe this was just a a job, but you were once hired to kidnap a submissive <laughs> in Florida. Can you yeah. tell us how you pulled that one off? Oh my goodness. So yeah, this is yeah, an in-person session and the guy contacted me. He's like, my fetish is getting kidnapped. And I had like done like virtual like role play with him before. I'd never done an in-person session of kidnapping. And I was like, what am I going to do? Like, because he wanted to get kidnapped in like the middle of St. Petersburg. I'm like, how am I going to do this with cops all around? And like, I swear, officer, he wanted it. I know. <laughs> I'm like, this is such a fine line. I really have to plan this out. So like, I don't get in trouble. Don't go to jail. <laughs> He gets what he wants. Right. And after a lot of like thinking about it and like figuring out the best solution, <laughs> I have this like St. Petersburg is weird. Like all the neighborhoods look kind of sketchy. That's just like Florida in general, I guess. But like the neighborhood my dungeon is in is kind of sketchy. And like all the neighbors just kind of like leave you alone. But my dungeon like borders this alley that probably is like a quarter of a mile long. It's like, okay, first time we're doing this, like, and he wanted me to film it all. And he was like, I want you to film it all. And I want you to be the only kidnapper. And I was like, no, we can't do this. I was like, I got to have someone driving the car. I was like, you're 300 pounds, like six, five. There's no way I'm going to be able to throw you into the car because <laughs> you want to be like tossed in the car. Oh my God. <laughs> and you want me to film it holding it in my hand, like, come on now. And so, like, I had to have help. A henchman, we called it. We planned it out. We have him walking down the alley. We're driving around the neighborhood, and, like, we come up behind him, and, like, I'm like, get in the car, motherfucker. And we, like, I had to come up with this whole scenario as to, like, why I was kidnapping him. And it was because he, like, owed me money or something. Mm -hmm. um, and if he didn't pay up, then, you know, he was going to get in big time trouble. <laughs> so, like, we're driving him around and then we take him to this, like, abandoned warehouse in St. P and, like, toss him around there for a few minutes. So, wait, so did you have to tie him up before you put him in the car or did you just, like, yeah. put so, him like, in? Yeah, so, to make it quick so nobody saw because, like, all the neighbors are, like, literally sitting outside because they call it the front porch community. Yeah. <laughs> I had to like think quickly. So I like zip tied him really quick and like we shoved him in the car in like less than 15 seconds. All while filming it too. I don't know how I managed to do that. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then once he got in the car, like he had a, he has a fetish on top of that of being tied up with like silk scarves. Okay. So I had to have the silk scarves ready to tie his mouth and his eyes and the rest of his body. Um, and so... Luckily, once he got in the car, you know, with tinted windows, it was fine. But like, yeah, I was like so nervous because like, oh, my God, what if somebody <laughs> sees this? And I was like, we're driving around. There was a cop behind us at one point. I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> like, they're going to pull us over. So I had to have him like sign this waiver and everything before we even got started. I was like, I don't even know if a cop would like take me seriously, like presenting all this. I might just end up at, behind bars. But <laughs> No, luckily that didn't happen. But yeah, so then I had to get him back to my dungeon and tied him up in all these different positions. And, you know, we had, I played into the element of financial domination. Like, you're going to give me your debit card pin code if you want to get out of here. And then I was sending myself money from his phone, um, you know, to make up for all the money that he supposedly owed me. And so it took a lot of planning it's a four hour long session. Yeah, it was intense. Wow. And he's like dying to do it again. He's like, I want to come back like in two weeks or whatever. I'm like, I'm really busy with like traveling right now. I was like, okay. Oh my God. Yeah. So how did you like end it? Because like, I feel like the like the anti like did you end it? In the same way where he'd given you enough money and so you untie him and you like mm -hmm. throw him out into the street? Yeah. Or was it like, okay, your four hours is over. Like, here you go. <laughs> just untie you. Would you like some water? No. Like, No, I know. <laughs> yeah. So I ended it like I untied him and, and I made him like, he was still like blindfolded or something. I made him like crawl like outside just like kind of 
my studio has like this backyard. And so you're going to crawl outside, you're blindfolded and like, there you go, escape. Mm -hmm. And then like before we started though, it was like at the end of the scene, you know, obviously come back in here because all your stuff is in here. But like to end the scene, (laughs) I was like, there you go. Find your way home. Did you dare tell anyone about this? Or Mm -hmm. you're, you're done. And so, yeah, he like crawled outside and then made his way back inside. And it was just like, yeah, and that's a tough scenario to like find an ending. Right. Cause it feels yeah. like weirdly anticlimactic. Right. Cause you like, you, there's this whole setup. It's like a four hour thing. Yeah. You throw him outside. And then it's like 30 seconds later, he just like strides in, like, hey, that was great. Thanks a lot. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I it feels to transition back to real life after that feels weird. It does. Yeah. It was, it's strange. And like some sessions are like that. I'm mm-hmm. like trying to find a proper ending. But yeah. then, you know, some people want aftercare and mm-hmm. they want to discuss the session. And mm-hmm. so it's, it's like a fine line figuring that one out. <laughs> yeah. 